what's going on my youtubers yeah more fire more fire you heard them gunshots it's your boy ghostface gaming back once again with another video upload for you guys super dragon ball heroes big bang mission episode one review the gods of destructions attack so for let's clear this up now because i said it you know back when Super Dragon Ball Heroes, you know, the, the, the prison arc where they was fighting hearts, all that. I want to clear this up now. You know, I said it was another season coming. This is not a season. This is promotional anime only. Promotional anime for the video game that comes out in Japan. So, I just want to apologize for any misinformation on that. Secondly, with this promotional anime, you only get but nine ten minutes eight minutes you know what i'm saying to get your point across so with that being said they get to the point and they gets there pretty fast so we pick up on the episode of supreme kai of time and time patrol of trunks and time patrol of pan looking for toki 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 to disappear toki toki shows up in the dragon ball super universe and we have this little comedy skit where he bites goku on the nose and then that light you saw coming through it's not the gods of destruction we have all 12 gods of destruction show up right after this but that light you saw wasn't the gods of destruction coming through that light that was time patrol of trunks and time patrol of pan um showing up on the scene to fire toki toki and soon as toki toki sees trucks you know he goes up to trucks trucks is like those father <coughs> y'all got this excuse me <coughs> but trucks is like <coughs> father and obviously from the last art of super dragon ball heroes this is not the same goku and vegeta that was in the last arc of super dragon ball heroes because <coughs> goku sees him and it's like, yo, this ain't the same truck. Yo, what's up, trucks? Wait, this ain't the trucks we know. And Vegeta's like, obviously, this is a trucks from another, another dimension. Nobody questions the fact that Pad's there. Nobody even asks or says anything to the point that Pad is there. But we get to see where Beerus and the gods show up. And Beerus is like, he has a dream. This weird bird shows up in universe 7 and destroys the universe or destroys all the universes the english dub translated so beerus gets ready to hakai them toki toki jumps up and flaps and nullifies the hakai bro like this is never seen before so we get this really cool and ominous scene right here where all of the gods of destruction power up a hakai you know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, Quatella's like, nah, let's just destroy Earth. And Pan is like, oh, time to go. Yeah, like, she doesn't even wait. She doesn't even, like, ask no questions. She and Toki Toki hauls ass. And you know what I'm saying? And Beerus is pretty much like, you know, let me handle this myself. So, Goku and Vegeta power up. And even though it's going to start off Goku and Beerus, Goku and Vegeta power up. We get, you know, the we get the Z Squad 2.0. You know what I mean? With Future Trunks in there. And Android 17. Piccolo, Gohan, and Krillin. You know what I'm saying? We got a pretty decent squad. But you got 12 guys of destruction, bro. Like, imagine if all of them niggas would have let their Hakai's off. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Just think about that. We're going to go back to that. So then after all that, you have few or food pop up. Talk about, okay, this is a good way to, you know, start off the experiment. Then you get him talking to the bird that Beerus is actually looking for, Dogi Dogi. Now, I did add Dogi Dogi in here because this is what stood out to me. This is like the, the, the world tree and Thor with galaxies up under. Like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what part is that tree going to play in a future story because obviously that tree and Dogi Dogi have something in common because Dogi Dogi is looking for Toki Toki so now back to who he was talking about <laughs> the 
back to the Z Fighters 2.0 first off. You know what I'm saying? Like, Goku obviously hasn't met them. Nobody even thought about questioning who Pan was or her and Gohan didn't have that kind of, you know, ooh, ah, interaction. You get what I'm saying? Because at this point, if this is the super version of the Z Fighters, Gohan has done had has had Pan at this point. You know what I'm saying? This Pan is like maybe two years old at this point. Or one. I can't quite remember. So in this iteration of the story, you know, in the old stories, Bra came before Pan, but in this iteration, Pan comes before Bra. You get what I'm saying? And Pan was taking the uh <clears throat> peel off gang into space and shit. You get what I'm saying? So why didn't we get that recognition between that exchange between Pan and Gohan? You know, for all extensive purposes, Super Dragon Ball Heroes is nothing but a promotional anime to promote the video game. You get what I'm saying? It's all it does is promote the video game. So, but they be taking interesting stories and got like the last art. You know what I'm saying? With the Universal Seed and all that and. And hearts wanting to free mortals from the rule of Zeno. That like that had depth and could could have went somewhere in Super. Like this here, all twelve gods of destruction show up, bro. You know what I'm saying? All twelve show up because of a premonition that Beerus had, or more so, he got it from the Oracle Fish. But you know what I'm saying? Like just imagine, like Geek them one on one. Said you know what I'm saying? Like. Imagine that storyline stretched out and handled with care and super. You know what I'm saying? But we only get nine, ten minute episodes once a month. And it's good for the, the, the teasing of the appetite. You get what I'm saying? Until we get some kind of content with super as an anime itself. But to actually put stock and investment in, I can't, I can't see that. You know? It's good for what it's worth, you know, as a Dragon Ball fan, I watch it because I'm a fan, and, you know, I report on it now so you guys can have some updates of what's going on in the Dragon Ball world, but it's your boy Ghostface Gaming, we're still doing 150 subscribers, Sub like, subscribe, and share, you get a $25 gift card, amen.